What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Miles World. Today, we're going to be looking at day three of the gifts from EA Sports. So, I'm going to need you guys to go ahead and like the video as we jump into it. Now, for most of you guys that have been getting your gifts, you should see that uh, for the, you know, yesterday they gave us Andy Dalton. I don't know why they did that. It was probably, like I said, I think it was probably something that they had to do because Andy Dalton's likeness is probably free. The NFL is like, yo, just get, yo, just give it to him. Because, like, bro, nobody wants an Andy Dalton. Now, Looking at this right here, these are the gifts. On the third day of Christmas, EA Sports gave to me a Iron Man Mike Evans. What the? And then you know what's crazy about this, bro? Not only did, look, he's an 87. You remember Kelsey being like a um, 440 snow? This guy is 310 snow. So I don't know what EA Sports is doing, but I will tell you this, though. He's a much better player than Calvin Johnson. Just like with his own coverage, you know, a lot lower because Calvin goes up to like a 97 or something. But look at that hit power. You know, look at the tackle. I don't, can we, can we compare him to the other safety position? Or is it only going to give us strong safeties? Okay, it's only giving us strong safeties here, but Calvin Johnson was not as good. All right, so this right here is pretty decent if you want to play around with it. Obviously, he's a lot slower, so you're going to have to be careful. Um, I blitz a lot, so I probably would be able to get away with him, like, subbing him in and stuff like that. But I don't like the fact that they reduced the amount of snow. I actually got to check now if they reduced the, um, the snow value of my other guy. You know what I'm saying, bro? Because now it's kind of weird. You also get a wheel of quick sell pack, but we'll get that afterwards. Let's get both on Mike Evans. So pretty much we have two useless cards because I'm not going to do anything with these cards anyway. So it's it's a situation where, look, bro, you got the card. Um, that's all that they got. It is a lot better than anti, uh, Andy Dalton. So maybe that is something to look forward to. You know what? Where, where's, the, where's the actual coins at? Why is it why is it not there, though? Bro, what, what is this? I don't know. Is it there? Are we going to... All right, yeah, all right, so it's black, but you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Like, why? I don't know what EA is doing. Maybe, maybe they didn't really want to give me the coins. They realized it was my account. They're like, yo, we just not going to give them the coins. But whatever it is, that that's, that's how that worked out right there. So let's go ahead and look at the zero chill right now and see what's been going on with the promo because um, other than that, they got two, uh, you know, primetime performers that are pretty trash. I'm not interested in it. Delaney Walker, Brent Grimes, those guys suck. I'm not really interested in that at all, either one. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things. Okay, what? Where, where are? They? Okay, so they're out of position. Is that what EA Sports is calling them? Out of position. Okay, why, why don't I just go to Iron Man? Okay, these two are Iron Man. All right, so that's Calvin. Let me just show you Calvin real quick. What I was talking about. You see how low his tackle is, but his zone is higher. But his hit power was just absolutely garbage. So it doesn't really work out. Uh, let's go back to out of. Bro, why does it keep falling down to that part? What? It won't go to the... It won't go to... Okay, there it goes. Like, you got to... Whoa, that was weird. All right, let's see what Jason Kelsey's doing. All right, so he's still 440 snow. So the reason that I'm holding on to this, guys, like I told you, I'm not really quick selling them that fast, is because I don't know what else they're going to be doing as far as the way that it goes uh, with the transition of the players. Like, say that they have something else that comes out that, you know, requires snow. All these prices will go back up. So I'm just sitting on them and waiting to see exactly how it transpires because... The, the simple thing is we don't know exactly what the, um, you know, the prerequisite, uh, as you could say, like, wh what are we going to have to do to get the ultimate upgrades to the cars that are going to be releasing soon? We don't know if it's snow. Now, remember, the snow does get converted to training, but that's after the promo's over. We're not going to want to wait until after the promo's over if the player requires snow at that point. So what I'm trying to do is hold on to as much as I can, and then I'll just start quick selling them when it comes down to that point. All right, so ultimately right now, there's nothing really um, exciting about day three of the gifts. It's just, you know, EA Sports is just doing whatever they want. It's a usual situation. But what we have to do now, like I said, Khalil Mack is out of packs, right? So when you go over, um, let's just talk about that really quickly. It's going to be 17,000 17, training points for, for what, you know, whatever it is, right? Um, if you didn't pull it through packs... Would you, you know what I'm saying, would you, would, would, would it be smart to actually upgrade him with the training points? In my opinion, I have to look at it. He's going to go up to a 91 speed. Okay. Okay. What is this right here? What is this? Oh, this, okay. They're not giving us the training point thing yet. All right. So we can't really do nothing with it. But like I said, his price probably went wild already back up to like 1.5 or something. Okay. 1.01. 1 .01. Um, you see, I could buy him for a mil. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that could be something that I, you know, I'll probably bid on that. I'm going to probably bid on that and see if I could win that at one point something mil. Because you already know, like if I spend the one mil, you know, I still have to spend 400K, but then I'm, but I'm not going to have any value for it. If I spend the one mil, I'll still have value for it as opposed to the training points. I was just waiting for him to get down to this amount. So if we're able to successfully get him for around that rate, 
I don't want to go too high, but we got to see what this dude's about. The dude that's going to be bidding on that. So I'm, I'm going to see if I remember after this video is over to go back and see what's really Gucci. But I'm glad that I clicked on it to see what's going on. Because that, I, I have no issue spending $1 million on him. Because he goes up to 91 speed and he's going to be a monster off the edge. So that will work for our defensive scheme. All right. So I just wanted to point that out, that that's something that we're going to probably be looking into doing. Um, other than that, right now, our situation is going to be this. I still do believe, like, there's a lot of things. I think defensively what's going to happen is Chris Harris Jr. and Darius Slay, they've seen their last days on the squad. And for those of you guys that have been watching on Twitch.tv, forward slash G Myers, while well, coming through with the heavy support, you guys know that these guys have been trash cans. Now, would it be smart to put in, to put in um, uh, Mike Evans instead of Derwin James? Probably not. Let me, let, me, let me take a look. What's going on with this right here, bro, with this guy? What's this, bro? You know, you know this guy? All right, he, he's going to go to a 91 zone, but he'll be slower. But he'll get, hold up, does he get a physical chem slot? I don't know. Okay, let's go check him out. We got to go see if he gets a physical chem slot. Let's go, let's go check that out. Let's go back to the item binder. Let's go check it out and see what's going on because Derwin James is a goonie and he has the speed and everything and, you know, all the hit power. But Mike Evans is 6'5". You know what I'm saying, bro? So we have to try to do what's in the best interest of our team and see if that will work out for us. So let's go check that out real quick. Can he get a physical chem, though? Oh, yeah, by the way, we pulled Julio Jones as a power-up with our daily objective. So that might be me. That might mean that they want... Oh, what? Scheme? Bruh. Scheme and ability? Bruh. Okay. Yo, no physical chem because you're not a 90. All right, yo, bro, listen, Mike Evans, bro. You're going to be raid sold, but you does he go into any sets, though? Because what is the price right now on... um? On our Calvin Johnson and Deion Sanders because you might go into the set. So that might be something we do with you because you, you're, you're just a complete... And you know, but, but wait a minute. Before we get rid of them, we should wait though. Because if they're still releasing Iron Man, that might be a good thing for us. That actually might be a good thing for... Hold up. What is, what is, what is this right here? No, 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 no. How much are they going for? What, what is the price on these? 27 Yeah. If they're still releasing Iron Man, that might mean that we might get a really OP Iron Man soon. But would they make an Ironman higher than Deion Sanders and Calvin Johnson? That realistically makes no sense, but it is EA Sports. So it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it is a chance that that could possibly happen. But Deion Sanders and uh, Calvin Johnson, their prices have gone down tremendously because people are not enjoying the fact that Deion doesn't get the deep rock chemistry and he's just a terrible card because you can't really do nothing with him. You need that deep rock chemistry to really be able to have fun with Deion um, on that side of the ball. But let's go ahead and check this out real quick. Because if we could... I, I know that their prices are very, very low, guys. So I would really be... Yo, I would really be very, very cautious with the way that you proceed with this. Because it probably won't make much sense. Yeah, they're 148. So, realistically speaking, unless these cards are required into another set, which would be absolutely stupid, because I can't think about a bigger name and out of position that would make us go crazy. Like, there's nothing... You know, like... What would they release? That would be better than, you know, a name like Deion Sanders. So I don't really think that it would be something where we would need these cards to do it. Um, maybe they're doing it so that, you know, a lot of people can enjoy the out of position. They probably change it up like that, made them lower overalls because they're going to have some really, really high overalls coming soon. That could be the issue. I don't know, guys. It just seems weird that Deion Sanders is a 90 and Calvin Johnson is a 90 and those guys are the maxed out uh, versions of what's going on. So pretty much right now what we have is... Looking at day three with the gifts, it's not something that, you know, any of us expected. I got news for you, though. I don't think anything good's going on for the 21st either because if we go to my presence right now, it, it's not really looking that good. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, it's all... Well, maybe I just pulled garbage, but I don't know if you guys pulled anything that was better than this. But my gifts are straight trash uh, for the 21st. So we're gonna... You know what I'm saying? Like, hold on. Let me just... Let me go A through Z right here. Um, yeah, I got all these. And they, they look like they're all goals. Right? These are all gold, gold gifts. So I don't think that anything good is coming out at all because they're all small presents. So, you know, I, I don't expect anything to be really, really good. That would have made sense if they gave us an Andy Dalton in one of these over here. Wait a minute. How much is Andy Dalton? Oh, he's 640 snow. Bro, this dude is garbage. Like, why is he so low in snow value, though? 640 snow, though? Maybe that was one of their things because people will put it up cheap and then you'll be able to get a lot of snow out of it. I don't know. It's a terrible card. But the 21st looks to be stupid. 22nd, we got three. But these are also gold, right? Just looking at... Oh, these are elite, but they're mediums. Maybe there's something in there that, that that's decent. I don't know. 23rd looks like more gold uh, gold garbage. 
24th, we got that extra large. You know what I'm saying, bro? Large and in charge. Like, that's what I believe is going to turn everything around. And then these elite gifts on Christmas, that might be what's up also. So, we, hold up. How much is my gallop going for? 80 snow. That dude's garbage. All right. So, look. That's pretty much what we're looking at for right now. So, ultimately, like I said, we're going to try to get that Khalil Mack for a million. Because even though I don't need that much more training to get the Khalil Mack, I could actually get him for free because, well, maybe I won't spend a million because I still have that Anthony Barr. You guys remember from the video before when I, when I put the set together and his price went down too low and I'm like, I'm not selling him. He's still worth 9,000 training. So pretty much, you see what I'm saying? He's at 384. So maybe I just quick sell him and then we do it that way. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Should I drop the mill? I probably would already have dropped the mill by the time you guys answered though because it gives us value. This would be like, I would be able to keep my coins because I've already I already have the card. So maybe financially this makes sense because it'll keep us at above you know five million and we'll just be chilling and we know that a week from now we'll be able to get that Khalil Mack and it didn't really cost us anything because we were able to put this this set together for dirt cheap. It cost me a hundred something k to make that Anthony Barr. So it would be realistically a hundred k for that thing and then we'll always have half of those training points. All right, it, it works out. We'll just we'll just keep Anthony Barr there and we'll get rid of Anthony Barr. Uh, when that time comes. All right, so that works out. All right, we'll do it like that. We'll get the Khalil Mack that way. And like I said, hold on to all the snow that you have right now, the way that you see me holding on to those cards, as far as like the quick sell values, I'm not going to get rid of any of them yet. I'm just going to, yo, I'm just sitting on them, just waiting like, yo, all right, what are you guys doing, EA? What are we doing? I'm just going to hold on to it just to make sure that we don't need any kind of excessive snow or anything like that along those lines. Um, you see the out of position is over there as well. We're just going to hold on to the Jason Kelsey's. Maybe there's something else that's going on and maybe we'll make out. Maybe we won't, but I don't think that right now it would be the, you know, a smart move to keep gambling with snow based on the losses that we've already taken. So let me know what you guys and girls are thinking. Hit me up in the comment section. You know, it's G Myers world on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.